Water, no fence. Hamilton, Jackson, and Ben. Why would I sell my soul for them? Trust me in heaven next to him. Got me airballing, no rim. Devil trying to play me, no film. I will never fall nor bend. I'm with Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Key Love Scott and today I'm going to be diving into recent controversy surrounding Mike Todd's Easter play at Transformation Church on April the 9th, 20 of 23. The production titled Ransom has been causing quite a stir and I'm here to break it all down for you. So let's go ahead and get started. In 15, um, I became the pastor and I didn't know what a pastor did. And so I was meeting with a group of people and they was like, what should we do for Easter? I was like, I've never preached the Easter message. So I'm not going to start this year. We need to come up with an Easter play. And they was like, all right, let's do it. I said, but it can't be no whack, raggedy. Just, he got up. Like, it just cannot be that. Okay, y'all going to act like I'm the only one that saw like, oh, yay. That was good. Like, I was like, it's got to move people. And I really want it to be focused on people who don't know God are far from him because yeah, yeah. like usually Easter is like where we come to cheer with the people who already are on the team that's called practice uh oh let, yeah, let me stop I want to go after the people who haven't signed up to play the game yet I want the person who feels lonely and isolated and like God doesn't care I want them to see how amazing Jesus actually is and what God actually did for all of us. So I said, we're going to go to the edge on this. And they said, Pastor, how far on the edge are we going to go? I said, we're going to do everything short of sin. Oh, y'all suck. Ransom is an hour-long high-production play put on by Transformation Church, led by Pastor Mike Todd. The show aims to retell the story of God rescuing mankind, but it has been criticized for being a little too worldly. Let's take a closer look at what's causing the controversy. This is what you need to do. Step one, find you a baddie. Okay. But step, step two, she gotta have a fatty. Hey. <laughs> Take her up some eggs. Yeah. Look back, Daddy. Uh oh. What is she doing? Friends, I don't have a fatty. Girl, Girl we keep telling you it's okay. Your little booty matter too, friends. Y'all oh, know they don't be discriminating. <laughs> sent his only son, the great knight of Avenia, to save her. One of the main points of contention is the play's high production value. With elaborate sets, costumes, and special effects, some feel that Ransom is more focused on entertainment than conveying a spiritual message. Another issue raised by critics is the play's incorporation of worldly themes. 
While the story is meant to depict God's rescue of mankind, some argue that the show's content is too secular, making it difficult for viewers to connect with the religious message. The public response to Ransom has been mixed. While some praise the play for its creativity and engaging storytelling, others feel that it strays too far from the core message of Easter. Let's take a look at some of the reactions from both sides. This is not even the satanic, demonic Grammy performance that we talked about this year. This is at Pastor Michael Todd's church, Easter performance. It doesn't even look different from the Grammys, which is a problem. The Bible says, be ye separate of this world. How are we supposed to be the example of Christ if we're looking like the world? This is the church. This is the Grammys. Do you see a difference? And then you're mixing in secular songs. Just look at this video right here. I mean, look, I got no words to explain that. No different from the world. It literally mirrors what happened at the Grammys. Like, look, man, entertainment, you gotta better be careful what you're letting enter, okay? Man, we gotta wake up, share this with somebody. Jesus is Thank king. you for sending Jesus just for me. Today, I'm coming home to be with you. I believe you lived, you died, and you rose again with all power so I can live in freedom. Today, I repent from my old way of living and I turn to you. Change me, renew me, transform me. I'm yours and I'll serve you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we turn up in this place? And before I say anything, pray for Michael Todd. Pray for the body of Christ at large. Just because somebody has a big platform or God's used him mightily does not mean we just give them a pass to, you know, look like the world or do whatever they want. Love calls out and confronts things if we actually wrong care about this Michael Todd Easter thing. Look, I by no means am, am somebody who, who endorses Transformation Church, somebody who endorses uh, everything that Michael Todd does. And after seeing some of the Easter... Uh, stuff that they did, you know, a couple couple of days ago. Um, it, it's given me more reason, um, and it seems like everybody else on the internet more reason to criticize them. But also, what I'm seeing is that everyone's using the same clips, and it's just like people using Bible verses out of context. I think it's important that yes, we have. Uh, discernment and yes we're able to see through these things and see if they're actually evil and of the world but I also think it's important for us to reserve judgment for when the facts actually come but that's just me uh, what do you think all I know is, is that wisdom will be shown right from the lives that follow in response to the controversy pastor Mike Todd has defended the play stating that the intention was to create a unique and engaging way to share the story of God's love and redemption he believes that the production's modern approach can help reach a wider audience and inspire more people to explore their faith. He also wanted to reach the people who are in the world and who do not have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. An eerie fear gripped the heart of the princess as she approached the ominous gates of the city of Heldra. Nevertheless, she dared not turn back. Hello? Is anyone there? Can anyone help me? This is all my fault. Well, well, well. It looks like it is your fault. And now all the people of your kingdom are suffering because of you. It appeared that the dragon was right. Back at Havania, riots had ensued outside the castle walls. People were indulging in all kinds of terrible behavior, and it seemed that they all had turned greedy and selfish. Some were angry with the king for building the wall, and others just frustrated at the insufficient fruit of their hard labor. Hmm. Don't worry. 
sorry. You can stay here with me. <laughs> but only under one condition. You work for me for a while. And I suppose I'll help you get back to your precious little house. Oh, uh oh, <laughs> whoopsies. <laughs> Great after all. Everybody listen up! This Steven's got some news for the people of Havidia! Section below. Did Transformation Church take this too far on Easter Sunday? Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I love you guys. The devil has me to chase and after me. There's nothing to fear about it. The most I told me say repent, I scream, so you gotta hear about it.